Hello Davenport, I'm Julie Zerwitz. I'm your Member of Parliament and this is my Monday video for the week of February the 1st. Lots happening. Uh, today is February 1st, which is the start of Black History Month. It's the 25th anniversary of us celebrating February as Black History Month, where we uh, celebrate the legacy and the contributions of Black communities in Canada. It's also a chance for us to uh, learn more about the systemic racism and barriers facing uh, black Canadians across our country. I'll be highlighting the many black leaders uh, and businesses uh, in the Davenport community uh, during this month. Uh, the House of Commons is also in session. A number of bills are coming through. Two key ones to uh, point out to you. The first is the Canada-UK um, continuation trade agreement is coming up for second reading as well as modifications to our Elections Act uh, is also reaching second reading and that is uh, Bill C-19. I also want to alert everyone to uh, four key things you need to know about travel restrictions. So Canada continues uh, to take uh, very aggressive uh, steps to protect Canadians, particularly as we have a number of new variants that are uh, roaming the world and um, we want to try to limit them coming into our country. So the first thing that you should know is that um, all flights, so all Canadian uh, airlines have agreed to s suspend flights to Mexico and Caribbean countries until April 30th, 2021. Uh, and that's effective as of uh, January 31st, so that was yesterday. The second thing you should know is that anybody that's going to be arriving in the coming weeks, um, with limited exceptions, have to reserve a room in a Government of Canada approved hotel for three nights at their own cost and take a COVID-19 modular test on arrival at their own cost. More details are going to be coming in the coming days, so stay tuned. Um, the Government of Canada is also um, asking, is going to be putting a requirement in for those that are coming across land. So if you're crossing our border by car, uh, there will also be a 72 hour pre-arrival testing requirement. Uh, with the exceptions of commercial truckers who are bringing in goods and pharmaceuticals uh, that we absolutely need and they go back and forth across our border uh, continuously. So stay tuned for more details on that. And then the last thing you should know is that um, in addition to a proof of a negative pre-departure test, Transport Canada will expand the existing international flight restrictions uh, to only allowing all international flights to come through four key airports in Canada. So that's Toronto, Montreal, Calgary, and Vancouver. So that's it on flight restrictions. Call my office if you have more questions, 416-654-8048. The other big thing to mention is that the federal government continues to provide uh, um, an unprecedented amount of money to support our schools. Um, and so uh, there is a safe return to class fund and an additional $763.34 million that's been given to Ontario late last week. Uh, and essentially, this is a second installment uh, that we are providing, and it goes to uh, to help um, with preparing for, for kids uh, in Toronto, in Ontario, to go back to school. So some of the things it goes to is uh, hiring additional custodians, um, hiring additional teachers, purchasing up, uh, personal protective equipment, providing technology, hiring IT professionals, providing additional mental health supports, and upgrading the ventilation um, and the ventilation filters. So all that uh, can be used as part of their safe return to class fund. Um, the next thing I want to remind everybody about, just because we've been getting some calls, is EI. Uh, the federal government has temporarily, temporarily waived the one week waiting period for insurance claims. So when you're applying, that one week has been uh, um, waived. Um, vaccines, I think you've heard a lot about it. Uh, please know that there's going to be some glitches. There's going to be some hiccups, but know that the commitment remains that everybody who wants to be vaccinated will be vaccinated by September. And the last thing to mention is that our Minister of Foreign Affairs, um, the Honourable Mark Arnault, has issued a statement about the military takeover in Myanmar. And we basically indicated that we are deeply concerned uh, by the M Myanmar military, uh, their recent action. We unequivocally condemn uh, these actions and we call on the military to release all individuals uh, that have been taken as part of their operation. And we continue to monitor the, the situation. Go to my website, juliezerwitz.ca slash coronavirus if you want the updated um, 
coronavirus uh, emergency support news. If you need help, please call my office, 416-654-8048. Have a great week, Davenport.